I'm going to discuss in this video, second video in uh, exam preparation course, my resources and my advices how to prepare for each different exam of the exams I passed. First of all, uh, I need you to press either like, dislike or write a comment down, depends on how you see these videos. So if you like it, just press like. If you dislike it, please press dislike. Don't feel shy. And if you have any comment or any question, please write it down here and I will discuss it with you immediately. The first point I want to discuss is my resources. I attended many exams in my life. Few of these exams I'm not going to discuss here and I will discuss the others. So USMLE, I will not dig behind because I just failed the first part. You don't need to know my experience in this one. So master degree and MD, I prepared for, with uh, Hisham Al Azazi book. That's the three volumes book. In in the master, I studied the two volume book, but in my MD, I studied the three volumes book. All my books will be just like recommendation. I don't advise you to change your resource of study two months before the exam. You cannot do that. But if uh, you still have time, I could strongly recommend these books for you. So uh, for my MD, I studied three volumes of Al Azazi plus structured oral exam plus Viva Clinical. You have to have clinical case scenarios. Then, uh, for my European Diploma of Anesthesia, in the first part, I used mainly the FRCAQ Bank. The FRCAQ Bank, in the answers, you have to take snapshots for certain words, which are the core words or core point uh, from the question. And when you take this snapshot, put it in a folder under the name of FRCAQ Bank. I did that for myself. I collected the 1000 point and I printed that and that's how I reviewed in the one or two nights before the exam you will review these points. So just bullet points. Uh, final uh, European Diploma of Anesthesia I used the Viva Clinical, the podcast and Matthew Cross. Matthew Cross is the best book with the graphs. For physiology, pharma, and some physics topics. That's a very important book. I attended the European Diploma of Intensive Care. The first part, I used the packed modules. Packed modules are essential, but it's not everything. You have to have another book. I used the Critical Care Secrets, and I used some MCQs or MCQ Bank, which is a multi-professional critical care MCQ. In the second part, again, I reviewed uh, my flashcards on the back modules. I wrote some notes on the back modules. I reviewed that, plus critical care secrets, plus the hot topics coming uh, that days. For my uh, fellowship uh, exam in anesthesia, many of my, my colleagues uh, advised me with a short answer question. I didn't like this book. It's very, very uh, summarized book. Uh, you cannot forget a word from it. It has a very bad uh, photo memory, uh, so I didn't find it useful. Uh, again, I used the Viva Clinical Structured Oral Exam and I added that this the flashcards book. Anesthesia Tutorial of the Week and uh, Anesthesia UK are very good comprehensive resource for certain topics. And in the final part, I reviewed again the Viva Clinical and Structured Oral and I added the recently released book, which is the Oxford Master Pass. Uh, it's a very rich book, uh, written in a novel way. It has uh, at its end uh, the new research done in just few papers. Uh, plus, you should use your own made, your handmade flashcards. How you do that, we'll discuss it in details later on. There is 12 topics. You can never ever sit an anesthesia exam without knowing these topics 
by heart. If you study the full curriculum and then you do a mistake in one of these topics, it will be a fatal mistake. What are these topics? It's anemia, hypertension and diabetes, ischemic heart disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, obstructive sleep apnea, obesity, pregnancy, children and its physiological pharmacological changes, geriatrics, blood transfusion, and emergency situations like airway compromise, etc. etc. In each video coming, I will give you an advice at the end. I will call it period of today. The period of today, you can say it's please don't dig your own grave. What does this mean? If you're asked in the exam, give me the definition of massive blood transfusion. Don't say there are four definitions. Don't mention that. Just go and say there is many and proceed. If you're asked uh, about uh, coterie, what are the types of coterie that you know? You may say there is two, which is unipolar and bipolar. And then you will tell you know they are three, there is an ultrasonic. So don't mention numbers at the beginning of your answer. Try to avoid that, not to be trapped. So period of today is don't dig your own grave. Thank you. And before this video finishes, I'll meet you in a short time, in a very short time, in the first hot topic that you shouldn't sit in exam without knowing by heart, anemia. I presume it will be tonight. See you.